Hey now bosses, so in today's video I'm going to be doing my older sister's nails and let me just tell y'all she's only had her nails done once in her whole lifetime so her nails are basically virgin so we're going to go ahead and get started by pushing back her cuticles i'm just going in with a metal cuticle pusher we're just pushing those cuticles very gently we want to make sure that as we're doing this we don't sit there and just scrape the nail over and over and over again we literally just want to very gently push those cuticles back to expose the new growth after that we're going to go in with a 180 sanding band and using my e-file at about 5000 rpms going from the right side working my way around to the left side just going back and forth until i fully remove the shine from the natural nail and what i'm doing is of course you want to make sure that you adjust your speed to whatever speed you feel comfortable using it at and then also while i'm doing this i'm keeping my drill bed parallel to the nail to where i'm not digging or falling into the nail i'm just literally following the surface of the nail because we don't want to leave any rings of fires or any of that on top of the nail and if you don't know what that is basically it's when you file too deep into the nail and it literally burns when this happens and so you or your client will have to pull your hand back because that's how bad it burns so again just keeping that e-file or your drill bed parallel to your nail bed and just following the entire nail now again her nails are basically virgin nails i think i did her nails one i think for her wedding or maybe they were press-ons but i feel like i've done her nails one time before and then before that i remember for her quinceanera i think she went to the nail shop and that's what she was telling me about she was like i remember the first time i ever had my nails done she said my nails were hurting so bad that i remember having to take tylenol for the pain to be able to sleep at night so i don't know what they did to my sister but i guess she was scarred from that so after we finished removing the shine from the natural nail i'm going in with my nail tips now because she's never worn her nails long i wasn't going to do anything crazy and she was going to a wedding and so i wanted to do something that she was going to be comfortable with and she wasn't going to be ready for me to take them off the next day and so i am going in with my tapered nail tips but we're going to be cutting all, cutting them all the way down and even when i applied the nail tips she's like you are cutting these down right and i'm like girl yes like i already know how you work because and then she type a lot too so i'm like i know i can't do nothing long but just knowing her i wasn't going to do it anyways but just going in with the tapered nail tips of course whenever i'm applying the nail tips i'm making sure that the nail tips fit perfectly on the nail i don't want them to be too big or too small because if they're too big for one they're going to be hanging off the side of the nail and her fingers are going to look super wide from the nails being too big and if i apply them too small the nail is basically going to break off or get lifting and so i just want to make sure that the nail tip fits exactly from sidewall to sidewall after that i'm going to be cutting them all the way down and you might be wondering like why did you apply those long nails when you were going to cut them all the way down like that's a waste yes i understand i definitely agree and usually i would apply just my short you know tips but i couldn't find them so i just went ahead and did these but i hate when people apply super long nails and then cut them all the way down so i'm pretty sure you probably were cringing when i did that but anyways i went in and measured all of the nails making sure that they were all the right size and then after that i'm just going in and blending the nail tip so i'm just going back in with my 180 sanding band and i'm using it at 5000 rpms and then just basically removing the shine from the nail tip and after we finish doing this we're just going to dust the nails off and i'm going to go in with my dehydrator and my primer and basically the dehydrator is going to remove any of the oils left on the nails from just me touching them um or any oil that was left on them period but before that we're gonna go in with my monomer and of course i'm gonna use my order out drops and just doing about four drops into my monomer and this is going to reduce the odor of that monomer and give it a more pleasant smell of peaches and for my acrylic powder i'm using the color perfect pink and here is where i'm applying the dehydrator and primer so we're applying this to the natural nail only and i go in and do my dehydrator first and then my primer 
So now I'm going to go in and apply the acrylic. So again, I'm using the color Perfect Pink for my NC acrylic system. And I'm using my number 12 acrylic brush. I grab my first bead, placing it down, and then very gently patting and making sure that I'm patting the acrylic out throughout the entire nail to where it's nice and even. So as you guys can see, as I'm patting, I'm being really gentle. If I pat too hard, the acrylic will literally just go all over the place. So I'm being as gentle as I can. After that, I'm just going in with a smaller bead, placing it closer to the cuticle area and just blending that in to the rest of the nail. And of course, because these nails are super tiny, I don't necessarily have to go in with a four ball method since I am going in with a slightly larger bead to begin with. And so that way, after I apply my first bead, if I need to go in and add more, that's completely fine. But if I have a nice thickness and a nice little apex, then I am free to just move on to the next nail. But even though they're short, you don't want your nails to just be super flat with no apex because even then they still can break. So make sure that you're paying attention to that as well. So same thing, I place my bead very gently, patting it down, cleaning around the cuticle area if I get any product around there. And then after that, I'm going to go in with my next bead placing this one closer to the cuticle area to give us that nice little apex and i say little because y'all these nails are literally tiny whenever i text her i was like hey girl can i do your nails and not remembering that she had a wedding to go to and so when she said that i was like okay perfect you know so um then i was kind of like uh i kind of wanted to have fun like what am i gonna do with these little bitty short nails but i was like you know what she's going to a wedding it would just have to be wedding nails and so i didn't want to do nothing too crazy which is why i just went in with this perfect pink acrylic powder which is not doing too much and again with this being only about her second time ever getting her nails done i didn't want her to be out of her comfort zone so we're basically just going to do this on all of the nails and remember y'all whenever you're working with your acrylic make sure that you're working very gently if you go in patting super super hard for one the acrylic is going to go everywhere and two it's not going to be even y'all so make sure that you're patting gently that you're only picking up the amount of product that you can control that way you don't have acrylic running on the skin running just everywhere so make sure that you pay attention to that as well and if you're still struggling with picking up a bead that has the correct liquid to powder ratio which means that it's not too wet or too dry i do have a video that teaches you basically how to pick up the correct size bead by practicing your liquid to powder ratio so i'll be sure to link link that here in this video so you guys can go check it out
Alrighty, so even though I was only filming one hand, I did want to give you guys a different angle so you guys can see how I'm placing the bead right in the middle of the nail, pushing it up towards the cuticle and just patting very gently. And then as I get closer to the nail to the nail tip, I just very gently feather the acrylic down and then clean around the cuticle area, making sure there's no product on the skin at all. Because if not, if it dries up, it's gonna be really hard to take off or fall off. And then most likely we will get lifting. So make sure that you clean those sides up really, really well. And then also cleaning off the free edge and the sides to make sure that we don't have any acrylic stuck at the bottom or on the sides to where it will take away from our shape. So after I placed my first bead, I still felt like it was a tiny bit too thin so just going in placing another bead closer to the cuticle area and then same thing very gently patting it down and then brushing it down towards the tip to blend it in with the rest of the acrylic person that likes to drive the conversation the way she wants it mm -hmm. she'll be like oh i hear you you understand mm -hmm. she's, like, she's like well it's not a matter of saying if you're incompetent or not no, it's just, no, no, i just don't think it's cool that when people are leaving that they want to leave you know, that note and blah blah okay so that's it for the acrylic application again this is the perfect pink acrylic powder from my nc acrylic collection this is what the nails look like after just the acrylic application and then next we're gonna go in and shape the nails now i was planning on doing them square because i thought about maybe just doing a cute little french tip and then right before i started shaping she's like you're gonna do them round aren't you and i was like uh yeah sure so um basically just going in and just filing off those corners of the nail to just round the nail out i really couldn't do a almond shape because they're really really short so this is about the only other shape that she could get with them being this short so i just rounded it rounded them off so as you guys can see i'm literally just positioning my e-file right underneath the nail and just falling those corners off and then just falling it at the tip to just make it that round shape and y'all when i say i haven't done a set of nails this short in a while like i literally cannot remember the last time i did this but they were so cute and dainty y'all like they were so literally so small my fiance was like did you do a nail tip i was like yeah He's like, or is that an overlay? And I was like, no, there's a nail tip. He's like, why are they so short? I'm like, this is what she wanted. But again, this is only her second time ever wearing nails. And she works at a school. She types a lot. And so just the type of person that she is, like she just does not care to ever wear nails.
Alrighty, so after I finish shaping all of the nails, now I'm going in with my 5-in-1 tapered drill bit and we're just going in and following all of the nails, focusing around the cuticle area to make sure that we seal the acrylic really good. That way we don't get any lifting at all. So again, going from the right side, working my way all the way around to the left side. And then as always, just a reminder that you wanna make sure that you're positioning your pinky on the side of your client's finger. That way you're able to get that stability that you need and that way your nail file is not just going all over the place but instead you're able to fully control your e-file at all times and make it go exactly where you need it to go but again going around that cuticle area and following the rest of the nail as well now my nails are basically already nice and smooth but again y'all to prevent lifting, you wanna make sure that you do not skip this step. No matter how smooth and nice your nails look, you still wanna go in and file, especially around this cuticle area to make sure that you're sealing it. That way there's no gap between your natural nail and the acrylic. So after I finish following all of the nails, we're gonna go in with a buffer and we're just gonna buff all of the nails to make sure that any of the scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e-file are completely gone. So whenever we go in with polish, you're not gonna be able to see any scratch at all and the nails are gonna be super, super smooth. So we're gonna go ahead and do that on all of them. After we finish buffing them, we're going to just dust them off and then wipe them off with an alcohol wipe.
So for the design, I decided to just go in with some white and I'm just basically going to do a few little white lines just random on the nail. I was going to do a white French tip, but with the shape of it, it just wasn't giving. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to throw some little white lines on there and call it a day. But it actually turned out super cute and then... The day of the wedding, she texts me because it was a wedding in like Philadelphia. And so she texts me and she's like, thank you for my nails. Like everybody kept complimenting me. And I'm pretty sure like the people closest to her were like, girl, like you never wear nails. Like what is going on? But they're super cute and again made them really short to where she would still feel comfortable but even then after like i did her nails she's like how am i supposed to wipe y'all do y'all see how short her nails are like what do you mean but y'all she's just extra like that but uh, i'm just going in with my small nail art brush i do have these available on my website this set of brushes or it's actually a set of three brushes that come together it's three different sizes and they are perfect for doing these little tiny lines Alrighty, so after I finished doing the lines and cured for 60 seconds, I'm going in with my NC Gel Top Coat and applying that on all of the nails. And let me just say, y'all, this top coat is so freaking shiny. Like, even after two or three weeks, like, they're still really, really shiny. And I just absolutely love it. And I promise you that I'm not just saying that because it's my brand. I'm saying it because it's true. You guys know I've been doing nails for 10 years. I've tried every brand that you can can think of and this one is my absolute favorite so i'll be sure to leave the link down below so you guys can go check out everything that i used in this video and then after we finish doing the top coat of course i'm gonna be curing for 60 seconds Alrighty, so after we cure, we're just going in with my pineapple cuticle oil, which is also available on my website, and just gently massaging that in to make sure that we just bring them back to life. But here is the final look. They turned out really pretty, and I hope you guys enjoyed.